This character, this hero is quite new to me. I'm using today's video to educate myself and learn more about Dr. What? Who? Lestrange. Dr. Strange from Fortnite. No, it's Marvel. Up to this point right now I have no clue who this really is. I know that he's some kind of magician, but we will find out together. And this is what I really love about my videos myself, that I'm not only able to create all of them, but to have a reason to dig deep and find out about personalities, new heroes and worlds. And if you are also part of the population who don't know Doctor Strange, you can look forward to this video because it will be quite educational. One word to the creation itself, I used the aluminum wire to create the skeleton, now coating. I start with the legs and then the boots and we are slowly working our way up. Right now I added some beautiful wrinkles with a modeling tool. And before we start with a deep search and learn more about Doctor Strange, I'd like to do some speculations who this really is. I bet he's some kind of magician, able to manipulate time and space, and that it all started when he was a child and big bullies were following him and beating the hell out of him. And he was able to stop time, freeze them, and um, then he realized he could also save the planet with this skill. <laughs> this was a mixture of Peter Parker, Batman and Harry Potter, I guess. <laughs> we have finished the legs, the boots and um, <laughs> while this is in the oven, I start with a belt and to my first deep search on Doctor Strange. I have an idea where to start. Huh, okay, I'm pretty sure this is not the right way to start, but an interesting one. Let's add Doctor Strange to finally book him. People also ask, ooh, what is Doctor Strange's magic called? Astral projection is one of the magical abilities that Strange used the most in his first solo movies. It consists of separating his astral form from his body, thus entering the astral dimension. Okay, now I want to know more about this astral dimension where he is entering and moving around and chilling. Build together with me. Well, this set is strange. You can create your own Doctor Strange. I'll provide you with all the materials, clay colors, some wool, blueprints, a white pen marker, and also the acrylic glass, which we will later need. Clay claim stickers. This set is strange. Get it on clayclaim.com. I should also mention you can get the set together with all the tools I am using on clayclaim.com with a discount. And as we are finishing the belt, look at all these beautiful details. I'd like to mention I used a mixture of brown, threw in some pale pink for example, to get some variation. This is always a nice touch to otherwise quite similar colors to get a tiny hint of variation into them. And now we start with the upper body. Now that the legs and boots have been oven hardened and I can touch them easily without destroying any of the former progress which we have done so far. The astral dimension also known the astral plane or ancestral plane is a parallel dimension where the soul exists outside of the body. Okay, <sighs> thanks a lot Marvel Cinematic Universe.fandom.com. The astral dimension, much like the mirror dimension, coexists, coexists alongside the material plane. However, to access it, one must successfully be separated from their physical form. Makes sense. Yada yada yada. Time relative to the material plane is slowed down to a crawl. 
when one enters the astral dimension to the point that Doctor Strange was able to leave his body, speak with the Ancient One to escape the bullies, probably. <laughs> we are working on the front of Doctor Strange and I, th I think next I'd like to learn more about all his abilities, what he is able to do. Um, I'm using a very thin line of red clay to get some details in here, adding some wrinkles to create a beautiful fabric look. The arms are very thin. I tend to create them too thick in the past. So we are removing some more of the clay um, because we will also add some additional details to the forearms like some stripes and decorational parts. This is a very thin layer of brown clay. I used my noodle machine to get it that thin, but you can also just roll it out with a bottle, for example, with a bottle on the table. Looking beautiful so far. Reminds me of the wizard in Clash Royale with these colors. <gasps> Maybe it's a reference? Did Supercell create a reference for Doctor Strange? Ah, no. Marvel would, would have beaten the shit out of them with suing and all this magical stuff big corporates can only do. Now adding some final details to the front, like these shoulder pads, for example. We have the cloak, finally, covering this part, but let's work on the skin first, on the skin parts. We have the magical hands, but also neck and face with the head. I start with the hands. This is a quite simple technique to create beautiful hands with clay. You start with the palm of the hand, then rolling out the finger pieces, make them really thin. I tend to create them too thick. Keep that in mind. Oh, and subscribe, hit the bell, if you don't want to end up with sausage fingers. Okay, Doctor Strange abilities. Doctor Strange, through sheer willpower and unaided by any magical spell, by any magical spell, can take the power of another entity or even possesses their body. Wow. When doing so, he absorbs the, their minds and assumes their duties in the dimension in which they exist. He runs the risk of completely losing himself in character. Hmm. What is Doctor Strange's weaknesses? It is that he keeps his own counsel. Strange makes a lot of pivotal decisions that seem inexplicable to his allies and more often than not he does it without bothering to explain himself. Sounds quite like a narcissist personality, maybe a little bit egocentric. <laughs> but he still looks like a nice guy though. My biggest weakness is no secret, it's creating human faces, which I'm always struggling a lot with. I hope I have improved. I know his lower jaw looks a little bit broken up to this point, but maybe the whole look changes once we are adding some beautiful details. I mixed some black and brown clay together to get his hair color right. And his mustache also reminds me of the wizard of Clash Royale. Carefully. Is Doctor Strange the most powerful? Originally answered, is Doctor Strange the most powerful superhero in Marvel? No, Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme of his dimension. In the early realm, though he is well trained in the mystic arts, he is nowhere close to being the most powerful superhero in the Marvel Universe. Says Quora.com. Okay, when they say, is there an evil Doctor Strange? Uh, is Doctor Strange immortal? Yes. Doctor Strange had to actually die and come into conflict with death herself 
for him to finally achieve the feat of no longer fearing death. What is Dr. Strange's real name? Dr. Stephen Strange. I have expected a different name, something like Ludwig van Lestrange. Putting the head into the oven for just a few minutes helps to keep the form of it so that you can easily build up on the current state. In this case, we are adding the hair to himself. He has some gray hair, so I bet he's a little bit older than I am. Wait a minute. How old is Dr. Strange? 42 years old. So he's way, way older. In the set on clickland.com there's also a white marker included. Feel free to add way more white hair than I am doing in the creational process. Look how his whole appearance changes with the hair strings. Looks so beautiful. Wasn't there also a movie just a few years ago? Maybe four or five years ago? I should watch this. With the mixture of red, pale pink and brown, we get this beautiful color and try to get it as thin as possible. If you don't have access to a noodle machine, you should buy noodles or use like a bottle and roll the clay out. It should also work. The outside is the regular red. The inside part is the bright one, which we just mixed. Oh, doesn't hurt your eyes at all. There is one thing which I always hated when printing out with my laser printer the color rubs off and sticks with the clay. But in this case, look at that. We take this advantage to create the pattern of the inside part of the cloak. Haven't done this before, but it looks like as if it is really working. I can trust the rub off effect of the laser printer. We are getting the cloak into shape, adding the collar. And we are almost there with the character. In the past, I fixed very thin layers of clay with wire. In this case, I'm using a cup. I'm placing the character inside. Hopefully we get some beautiful, naturally looking wrinkles with it. And with these two last details on the cloak, the clay part is finished and we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Dr. Strange, who serves as the Sorcerer Supreme, the primary protector of Earth against magical and mystical threats. And with some lipstick, he looks like a badass. Or someone who has eaten the noodles with too much tomato sauce. What is left? The shield of the Seraphim. This is acrylic glass. The shield is a magical blockade of energy summoned by Dr. Strange himself in the comics. And the shield is effective when it comes to protecting Strange from physical harm. I just read this out. You can't know everything. In the, crea in the creational process, the idea is to use the acrylic glass, um, getting this beautiful pattern into it. And with the white marker, we get some white paint into the grooves of the glass. Now turning it around and coloring the glass in a beautiful orange. The acrylic glass which comes with the set is already colored, so you can start creating right away. Looks so beautiful. 
Maybe we add a tiny bit of brown wool to it to make it a little bit more spherical. And we can now glue the shields onto the fingers. Adding a little bit more white hair because he's way older than I am. I really enjoyed learning a little bit more about this character, which I didn't knew before. Guys, I guess that's it. Doctor Strange in the Fortnite skin version. Check out clayclaim.com, you can also build your own Doctor Strange, you get all the materials needed in this Strange set. Have a beautiful weekend, take good care, bye.